Somebody has given you a name. Mm. That is not the name that your mother gave to you. No. That is not the name that your father gave to you. No. But because of what you find yourself in, mm. because of the things that are going around you, mm. they call you by that name. By that name. But by the voice of the by Holy the Ghost, the Holy by Ghost. the voice of the Holy by Ghost, the voice of the by Holy he Ghost. that sits upon yes. the throne, by he that sits upon the yes. throne, yes. Every, demonic calamity, every demonic calamity, every satanic calamity, every satanic calamity we bring it to a halt. We bring it to a halt. We bring it to a halt. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bring it to a halt. Sit down one minute. This young man was celebrating. Please go back to John. Let's let's. We haven't finished reading it. Verse five. Verse five. Go. go. And a certain man was there. Which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. Now, the man has celebrated that situation over and over. Every year, when the angel comes, when the presence of God comes over the water, somebody else will stand in his spotlight. Somebody else will stand in his spotlight. And he has to wait for another season. Another year will come. The angel will come. And somebody will step in his spotlight. Why was somebody stepping in his spotlight? The man has lost concentration. All that he is doing is celebrating the anniversary. All that he is doing is celebrating the situation that he finds himself in. But that says to the Lord unto the yes. children of God. You are not going to celebrate that no. calamity anymore. You I'm are not, not going to celebrate that, that calamity no. anymore. No, it shall be no more. It shall be no more. I said it shall be no more. It shall be no more. It shall be no more. Why? Because the hand yes. of God has the come into the situation. When the hand of God comes into the situation, he will change it. It is not by mind. It is not by power. But by my spirit. Say yes to the Lord. If the spirit of God is with you, then that situation will change. If the spirit of God is with you, Change. That calamity will stop. Will change. If the spirit of God is yes. with you, then it shall be stopped. It shall be stopped. To change. For 38 years. For 38 years, this man was sitting at one place. And how, how can you sit at one place for 38 years? Because the angel comes only once and troubles the water. This morning I was talking about that. I was talking about that, that the security network of Jehovah God, the GPS of heaven. Now, when the GPS of heaven is protecting you, they don't go to sleep. When the network of God is protecting you, they don't go to sleep. Why they don't go to sleep? Because they have an assignment. They have an assignment. They have been given a mandate to protect your life 24-7. Therefore, you will never have the time to celebrate that calamity. You will never have the time to celebrate that difficulty. Why? Because the Spirit of God is in you. Yes. Bible says that the same Spirit that raised Jesus yes. from the dead, if the same Spirit that dwells in you, he shall quicken your mortal body. 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 I don't know what it is that is weighing you down. Yes. I don't know how far the enemy has pushed no. you, but I came to tell you that. Yes, yes, Bible yes, says yes. that he who watches over Israel, he, he neither sleeps nor, sleep nor slumber. Yes. Bible says that no weapon yes. passing against you prosper. shall prosper. Every tongue that rises I against you, in judgment thou shalt condemn. condemn Bible yes, says yes. we believe. Yes. We believe. We believe. Therefore we speak. Yes. yes. The we man speak. celebrated it for thirty-eight yes. years. He believes. You are not going to. You are not going to celebrate it. No, no, that is not your portion. No. That is not your portion. No. You know why it's not your portion? Because you have the seed of God inside you. You know why it's not your portion? Because you carry the mark of God. Yes. God went to the people and tells, he said, tell them, let, kill the, let them kill the lamb and mark the abdopos. Tonight, I am going to walk through that. And, yes. and the angel of God, yes. the angel of death is going to pass through. Yes. There will be a cry in the land yes. of the enemy. There will be a cry in the land of the enemy. Yes. And he said, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, yes. he said, when I see the blood, yes. I will pass, pass over you. Yes. When I see the blood, yes. I will pass over you. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. The blood is in you. Yes. The blood is Pass in you. Yes. It is the blood that saved you. Yes. Not the blood of the booze. The, the blood of the only begotten yes. son. 
Bible says, Bible says, Bible Praise says, Lord. in the garden of Gethsemane, yes. Jesus said that, Father, why have thou forsaken me? me. Yes. Because the father couldn't look at his own mm -hmm. son. Yes. He couldn't look at his name again. Yes. Because of the son, because yes. of the shame. Yes. Because of my shame that was upon yes. him. Yes. Not the shame of the past generation. Yes. God knew that at a certain time like this, there are certain things that I'm going to go through. Yes. Therefore, he paid the price. Yes. He paid the price. Yes. Therefore, I don't need to celebrate it. Yes. He paid a price. I will price. never celebrate that difficulty. No. Because God has provided yes. what it takes for me to come out. Come out. Yes. He has provided. Yes. Now, look at the question. Look at the question Jesus asked the man. Pastor Pray, continue verse 6. Verse 6. Yes. When Jesus saw him mm -hmm. lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case. Huh. Hold he on said right unto him, Pastor Phil, when Jesus, when Jesus saw him, he knew that this man has been there for a long time. Do you think that God is not aware about what you are going through? Yes, he knows. God is aware about what God you are going through. Yes. God is aware. Yes. And he is not happy yes. that you sit down every moment of your life no. and celebrate that situation. No. Talk to God. Yes. Talk to your father. Yes. Go to him and talk to him. Yes. I, am not, I am not happy no. about what I am going through. Father, take it. Bring, I bring your yes. hand into this situation. In this situation. But Jesus asked him, no, he said, knowing how long he's been there. And Jesus asked him a question. Pastor Fred, read it for me. And he said unto him. He said unto him. Will thou be made whole? Ah, yeah, kate. Now. Now. The same scripture. Mm. Now. Pastor Fred, put your hand there. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 2. Now. You see. That is what something in the Bible they call a cross reference. We are doing a cross reference to this scripture we have read in John chapter 5. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 24. Now, watch the statement that is being made here. We have read this scripture over and over. I don't know, I don't know what I was going to, but just the spirit of God just dropped this spirit, mm. the scripture in my now. Read it. John chapter 2, verse 24. Yes. Rise ye up, uh -huh. take your journey, uh -huh. and pass over the river Ammon. Uh -huh. Behold, Behold, I have given into thy hand uh -huh. Sihon, the Hold Amorite. On. Hold on, that is what all that I want. He said, Behold, I have given to you. Ha, yeah, ka. Behold, I have given to you. Now, when Jesus met the man, he asked him the question, Will thou want to be made whole? What kind of question is this? God said, Behold, I have given to you what you have been asking for. What you have been sitting on this pool every single day of your life, crying and fighting for. I have given it to you. As somebody is standing in your spotlight mm. and the person is making you to celebrate those calamities, mm. making you to celebrate that, 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 that situation. Mm. Every moment of your life, mm. you, get, you come to church, you are excited. God, the word of God comes to you and it's powerful. But once you get home, the enemy come back and come and face you. But thanks be to God that we are in the house of God this afternoon. I came to announce to yes. you today. I, I came to it. announce you to you I today that the yes. power of God is in the this house. The power of God is in this house. The power of God is in this house. To stop that situation yes. once and for all. Yes. You won't go through it for 38 years. No. Days. You will not even go through it for one year. No. If you will look unto God. Bible says that a day is like a, a thousand years unto God. And a thousand years is like a day unto our God. Why? Because he who watches over you, he neither sleep nor slumber. He neither sleep nor slumber. Pastor Fred, Pastor Fred please continue from John chapter 5 for me. Con continue from where you... Oh, where yeah. Verse 6. Verse 6. So when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he, he had been now a long time in that case, mm. he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. Look at, look at what is happening here. The man has been celebrating his situation. Now he has come to accept the position that he found himself in. You see? Some of us, 
that is what we are. That's what we. I'm talking. I'm not talking about the, the important in the Bible. I'm talking about somebody sitting here right now. We have come to accept the situation that we have in. Now, even when the change is coming, God is standing in front of you and He's asking you, "Do you want to come out of this situation? Do you want to have that business? Do you want to have that baby? Do you want to have that thing that thing that you have been asking for? You have been crying every moment of." God, I prayed about it last year. I prayed about it three years ago. I prayed about it four years ago. I haven't had it. What is this man asking, talking about? So we think that our mind is talking. When the spirit of God is asking you, you say, ah. When the man who was recounting the situation that he was trying, trying to tell him that, listen to me, Jack. Yeah, nobody helped anybody. It is, it is do it for yourself. I've been standing here. Anytime I try to make a move, somebody will, somebody will cut me. Somebody will talk about me. Somebody, somebody will go and gossip about me. So because the person gossip about me, I stop. I won't do. I won't. I won't even, I won't even go to church and go and pray. Somebody said that. Somebody, you see, somebody said that what I am going to take it doesn't belong to me, because somebody, ah, see, somebody has gone to report me to Pastor Dada. So I'm not going to come to the church again. I'm not going to come. You see, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not, I, I'm not going to worship God again. If all that it takes for me to come to face opposition in the house of God, I'm not coming again. I'm not coming again. Now, the man was sitting down there celebrating. Oh, Jesus. You see, I don't have anybody to, to help me. Oh. I don't have anybody to help me. But the helper was standing right in front right of you. The helper is standing right in front of yes. you in this house. The helper is the standing helper right. Is right. Yeah, he's yeah. Helps, he's yeah. standing in, in your yeah. He is standing in your yes. presence. He is standing in your yes, yes. All that you need to do is to plug yes. into his presence. Mm. Is to plug into his presence. Pastor Fred, please continue. Yeah, verse 7. Verse 7. Say, I have no man when the water is troubled, mm -hmm. to put me into the pool. Mm -hmm. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. Jesus said unto him, Hold on right there. When Jesus come into the situation, you will never need, you won't need the help of any man. No. When Jesus come into that situation, no. you will not need the you help of any man. You don't you. need the help of any no, man. You, you don't need the help of any man. Because he who created the heavens and yes. the earth is standing right standing in front right of you. you. He's standing right yes. in front of you. That situation will stop. You stop. That situation will it see. Change. Because God is standing right in, in front, front of, of you. you. And when you bring him mm. into that situation, mm. you don't need, you don't need the approval of any man. You don't need that. You don't need the reference. God doesn't need reference from any man in order to bless no. you. All that you need is to, for you to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Refer the battle unto the Lord. Refer the battle to the security yes. network of Jehovah God. And they will protect your going they out. Protect they will protect you. your coming they in. Will protect Every your trap that in. the enemy has set, ah. the angels of God will lift you up lift you and up. put you beyond the trap. The Whenever trap. they set the trap, yes. they themselves will fall into they it. Fall in they it. themselves will they fall into fall it. In it themselves. Why? Because the spirit of God is. Now, I haven't gotten there, but let me say, let me say this to you. Once upon a time, in the Bible, there's a man they call him Daniel. Bible says that the king, they wanted to trap this man. You see, I just put a message on the on our system. It said, if the title of the message is that if the devil knew, that's the title of the message. If the devil knew, Mama, if they knew that they that coming to attack you would destroy their kingdom, they wouldn't have come. If the devil knew, now they went and attacked Daniel, trying to trap him by his God. Because the only thing they knew that they can get that guy is to trap him by his God. And they made a mistake. The enemy made a mistake coming to your house. Yes. I said the enemy made a mistake coming yes. to your house. I said the enemy made a mistake coming yes. to your house. I said the 